Coach JC here with Fit First Responders, and I'm here with Major Yates, the man. And today we want to talk to you about a fourth pillar for you to be fit for duty and fit for life. And that pillar is family. You know, I want to talk to you about family for a second. As a first responder, you have your family at your household. You have your family at the department or the station. We believe at Fit First Responders that you can have anything you want, anytime you want in life when you choose to put yourself in the right environment with the right people. So I want to encourage you right now, wherever you're at, if you're trying to get fit for duty and fit for life, and, and maybe it's physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, relational, whatever area that is, I want to encourage you to go a little deeper than just contacting. I want to encourage you to connect. There's power in connecting. We believe at Fit First Responders that iron sharpens iron. We believe in putting individuals together and building a relationship and helping each other win. We believe in the law of reciprocity that when you help somebody else win, that you'll win. So if you're out there right now, I just want to encourage you to connect. But I want you to hear now from one of your very own first responders on why we feel it is absolutely crucial at this time and this age to be connected as a community and as first responders, Major Yates. Coach, first responder world, the largest family in the world are first responders. Every, all of you know that. You are families. And with all the attacks going on among the first responder world out there, you need family more than ever. But here's the issue. Our families aren't always healthy. Our families don't always hold each other accountable. Our families don't always have those courageous conversations with each other when they need it. Maybe you've got a partner that's being unsafe. Maybe you've got a partner that is a little unhealthy. Maybe you have a partner that's not eating right. We need to have courageous conversations and get them back on track to be fit for duty and fit for life. Man, you heard it from the man right there. That's powerful, Major. So if you're out there right now, remember what we told you earlier, retention without implementation is useless. I want you right now to get out there and connect and help somebody else win so that you can win. Connect, hold somebody accountable. Right now, if you're trying to get fit for duty, fit for life, get an accountability partner, get to the gym together, get to church together, whatever that area may be. But it is time to connect and bring community together as first re responders so that you can be fit for duty and fit for life.